in response to a user query, we showed how you can define an area by a closed polyline and use one of the tools on the GK Plus drop down menu to fill a space such as that with a symbol. And we used uh, as a symbol the symbol for uh, an acupanthus plant. We put the boundary of that area on a layer called L plant construction so we could turn it off and there is our mass planting shown on the left. But our user would prefer to have a more formal arrangement and wants to know how can you organise that sort of planting efficiently. He's going to use underground drip irrigation system and would like to know the area or sorry the length of piping that he needs to purchase. To do that go to tools and add up length of polylines. As I select each individual polyline you'll notice the total length is being recorded and when we pick all of these lines we get a total of 28 meters or so and I've put that piece of text on the right hand side. So how can we put the agapanthus directly over these lines for drip irrigation. So well, we'll go to GK Plus and this time copy along a line and the prompt says select the plant symbol. We use the same symbol again. Now the copy path. We'll pick this bottom line. Input a start point for the copy. We'll select the O snap N and now input spacing and the requirement was for the symbols for Agapanthus to be uh, 2 per metre, so 500 millimetres, so we type 500, hit enter, and the symbols are placed on that line. Now you could repeat that uh, for each of the lines, that's just repeat, copy along a line, that's the command, um, select the symbol, you can pick it from here now, and the copy path, again we can pick the end point and for the distance 500 and in goes the species. Now to fill the other two in you could simply select these symbols and just copy them from, in fact we've got an insertion point here so we could go from that point there to the end like so and then again to the end of that one and so mass planting is now along directly above those underground drip irrigators. You might well want to show how that sort of irrigation system would be installed and the easiest way to do that is with an image. So if you went to our plant database software you could go to hard space and I've, you could scroll backwards and forwards and do a search and find an image such as this and it's just then a matter of copying that image, the path to that image and then moving back into GCAD Plus. You may well move to the draw drop down menu, pick raster image and so we're going to add a new raster image file name. We've copied it so we can just paste it in here and say open and then insert that into the drawing like so. So we now have an image, so we now have an image showing how the irrigation is likely to be laid out.